Judge Jibi Sue's National Enquirer owner for story claiming she is working to free Menendez Brothers. Hey buddy, welcome to our YouTube channel. Hope you all are so well, so let's begin. Judy Sheenlin, better known as Judge Judy, is suing the parent company of National Enquirer and Touch Weekly for defamation after they released a story connecting Sheenlin to the Menendez Brothers. Lyle and Eric Menendez were convicted of murdering their parents in 1989 after alleged sexual abuse by their father. The brothers were incarcerated in 1990 and continue to serve prison time. In April, In Touch Weekly published an article titled Inside Judge Judy's Quest to Save the Menendez Brothers, nearly 35 years after their parents' murder. A second version of the story was later published in the National Enquirer. When you fabricate stories about me in order to make money for yourselves with no regard for the truth or the reputation I've spent a lifetime cultivating, it's going to cost you, Shinlin stated. When you've done it multiple times, it's unconscionable and will be expensive. It has to be expensive so that you will stop. Sheenlin's lawsuit speculates that the news outlets misidentified Judy Zomos, an alternate juror in the trial, as Sheenlin. It is unclear how much Sheenlin is seeking in compensation. National Enquirer and In Touch Weekly allegedly received information from a Peacock docuseries titled Menendez plus Menudo, Boys Betrayed. Sheenlin's lawsuit filing states it entirely misquoted its source material, which identified the speaker of the challenge statements by name, an individual identified on screen in the docuseries as Judy Somos, and as an alternate juror for his trial. Judge Sheenlin has never gone by the name Judy Somos, nor is she an alternate juror in the Menendez trial. This is not the first conflict between Sheenlin and the National Enquirer. In 2017, the newspaper published an article falsely claiming Sheenlin had Alzheimer's disease and depression and cheated on her husband. The outlet apologized for the article. The Enquirer was in the news last month when its former publisher, David Pecker, revealed the outlet made up stories about opponents of former President Donald Trump before the 2016 election. The highly recognizable face of American arbitration television, Judith Judge Judy Sheenlin, initiated a suit against Accelerate 360 Media, parent company of notorious tabloids, the National Enquirer and In Touch Weekly. The action was spurred by a story published on the In Touch Weekly's platform alleging that Sheenlin sought to assist in procuring a retrial for the notorious Menendez brothers, who were found guilty of their parents' murder over three decades ago. The contentious article hit online platforms on April 10, bearing a sensational headline suggesting an insider perspective into Judge Judy's quest to save the Menendez brothers nearly 35 years after their parents' murder. The story was presented as breaking news in the circuit court of Collier County, Florida, putting Sheenlin front and center of a high-profile case she vehemently denies having any connection to. The tale of the Menendez brothers and the notorious 1989 patricide in Beverly Hills, California, has long been a tabloid favorite, allowing this unfounded story to propagate even further when a semblance of it surfaced on the pages of the National Enquirer, a publication affiliated with In Touch Weekly under the umbrella of Accelerate 360 Media. Judge Judy, whose articulate judgment reigned supreme on the eponymous syndicated show until 2021 and who now stars in Juby Justice, has voiced her an absence of involvement or opinion regarding the Menendez case. The retaliation lawsuit suggests the two media outlets used elements from a Fox Nation docuseries featuring Juby Ramos. Ramos, who was listed as an alternate juror in the initial Menendez trial, saw her commentary misappropriated and falsely attributed to the television arbitrator. Accelerate 360 remained reserved, refraining from instant remarks in the face of the lawsuit. The controversy arose just a year following a failed attempt to sell off the National Enquirer, stirring up another storm for the media conglomerate. The wrath of the no-nonsense judge came with no precise damage amount requested. However, Sheenlin pulled no punch. Would he fabricate stories about me? With no regard for the truth or the reputation I've spent a lifetime cultivating, it's going to cost you, she responded fiercely. When you've done it multiple times, it's unconscionable and will be expensive. It has to be expensive so that you will stop. This isn't Sheenlin's maiden dance with the Enquirer. In 2017, the publication was forced to retract articles falsely reporting that she was suffering from Alzheimer's disease, battling depression, and had been unfaithful to her husband. As the gable comes down on this latest dispute, 